Hi, I'm Charles Tinsley alongside of Greg Roberts, auctioneer here at Main Street Mining Auctions where we're mining the streets looking for great deals and treasures for you. So Greg, we've got another great auction coming up. It's coming up, I believe, on the 25th of this month mm -hmm. is our second auction of March, so that's kind of fun to have two of them. And uh, we've got some more great pieces, don't we? Yeah, we've got quite a few different pieces. Um, got the silver, as yep. we always start, um, and then we've got a bunch of Russian pieces coming up. So, Russian? Yes, Russian. It's kind of painful right here after the Olympics, uh, losing to the Russians like that. It's okay. We won in hockey, and that's all that matters. So. That's a big thing, winning <laughs> hockey. That's the, we're, we're just going to kind of hang our hat on that, so that's great. So we do have some great Russian pieces here. Mm -hmm. Got gr quite a few great Russian pieces, uh, always the silver. Um, got a large amount of coins, which is, that's going to be fun, the yep. collectible ones. Um, and then we've got a, a small sampling of some fine, nice razors coming up at the end, too. So More razors, that's great. Well, this is a great example of a piece that we have here, and this is a sterling box, uh, a little bit larger box than we normally see. Uh, which makes it nice. And of course, it's got this heavy, wonderful repousse work on it. Uh, it's a great example of the Russian pieces that we were discussing there. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be something I think we're gonna, we, we know that we're going to get a lot of attention. We've already begun to get some inquiries about it, and so that's nice. And then this, uh, you're going to have to explain what this is. Uh, this is a cloisonne belt buckle and the adornments that go on the belt itself. Okay. Um, it's from the late 1800s. Uh, gorgeous piece. Uh, it's got a little dagger in it, just, uh, if you can look at the pictures on it, that holds that belt buckle together. It's kind of a cool thing. Yeah, so that had to be part of some very traditional uh, dress uh, from that time period. So it would be interesting to have seen how that was worn. But it is a great piece. It's got that wonderful color, great detail. Now, this is another piece that is just beautiful in person. I, I hope the pictures can make the point of what it is because at first when I saw this, I, I was wondering, is it a form of cloisonne? And then uh, you actually were able to find out more about it. It's, it's called plique jour, um, and it's similar to cloisonne, except for it doesn't have a backing to it. Um, it's just a glass backing. Um, so it's, it's very delicate, mm -hmm. but it is holding this thing up to the light. Is, it's, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece, uh, and that's kind of nice. Now, now we have uh, a lot of spoons. If we if we had one overall theme that's going to carry through this auction, that we have a lot of different types of spoons. This is a great example of one of the more ornate pieces. But we've just got pieces from from different age periods, different parts of the world, different styles. So for all the spoon collectors out there, you're going to love this auction. It's going to be a lot of fun, and so. What about uh, to say? Another Russian piece. Russians. <laughs> I love the Russians. Don't get me wrong. I just I, I can't seem to get over it. It's okay. They make some great uh, great jewelry, great uh, great silverware. We'll we'll sell it for them. Great so. decorations. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. So this is just a, uh, this is a case of a of a cloisonne egg. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a really so I guess it's a box, even though it's not you know shaped like a traditional box in great shape. And you said, I believe, when we spoke earlier, that this is probably from the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so similar to the time period of some of these other pieces. And jewelry, you know, we always want to make sure we have jewelry because jewelry is one of our first loves. We know a lot about it. And this is a, a little bit of a, of a more unique style of a tennis bracelet. It's five carats worth of diamonds. Uh, it's a well-made piece. I think somebody's going to really uh, enjoy receiving this. Oh, it's definitely a nice one. Uh, and then this is an example. I think we were talking about the fact that, that we've got a lot of the uh, little bit lower cost, beautiful, fun pieces. That was a, that's a sterling ring. It's got this great orange gemstone work, and it's got the market side accents. Just a great piece. And so and I, my understanding is we've got quite a few of these types of pieces in there that are going to be that very affordable, very fun stuff. Oh, definitely. Wonderful. So this is unusual, and we, I think we have two that look kind of like this. So what's mm -hmm. the story on this? Uh, this is a piece made by uh, Nikolai Medvedev. Um, he is Medvedev? Medvedev. Another Russian thing. Yes, it's another Russian. Okay, He'll okay, I'll, I'll just okay. get over it. Okay. <laughs> uh, another piece uh, by, made by Nikolai Medvedev. Uh, it's just a, it's a pendant um, to be worn around the neck. Very pretty piece, made out of extremely just ornate, rare gemstones. Um, sometimes he even uses dinosaur bones. Wow. Um, kind of a cool thing. I was reading about uh, some of the stuff when you first told me about his work, and they refer to it as intarsia, which I had not heard that word. Of course, it's a form of inlay that's very detailed, very high quality. And man, he's got wonderful stuff. His jewelry boxes are pretty fantastic as well. So he's, he's pretty got a wide range of the way he does his work. 
uh, gemstones, I mean, I'm sorry, coins. Uh, so we, we've got a lot of coins in this one, uh, and that's in response specifically to a lot of conversations that we're having with the consigners that are, uh, I mean, the, the winning bidders that have been talking to us about. We ask them, what do you want? What are you looking for? And a lot of them are wanting coins. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got quite a few this time around. Uh, a, lot, a collection coming out of one consigner that's got all sorts of the Carson Cities, those highly desirable Morgans, yep. um, all the way down to just some uncirculated, nice-looking general date ones. So yep. it'll be it'll be pretty cool watching these go through. And now we've got this uh, this great-looking guitar. Now this is a, a Fender Squire. I don't think that once this thing was signed, and it's signed by the band Chicago, I don't think it was ever intended to be played again. It was meant to be hung and enjoyed as a, as a collectible in somebody's man cave or their music room. Uh, so it's a great piece. Uh, Chicago, what's your favorite song? Saturday in the Park. You practiced for that, didn't you? Because you came out with that very quick. Well. I like it. <laughs> Chicago is one of my favorites. So. Yeah, they're, they're a great band. And it's really interesting because they've had a number of pieces that were signed. And you can tell as you look at some of the history of these cells, that which we use to find the comps, uh, how old that was because of which band members were in there. There were a lot of band members that have come and gone with Chicago. And this is, a, this is one of those great time pieces like that. And so, more shaving. You know, I thought we'd uh, run out at the last. My understanding was that was the end of the shaving collection, but there's this last group of them. What's the story on that? Well, as, as we came across these pieces, um, it was kind of one of those just barn finds that you, you hear about. One of those great things just sitting out there collecting dust. Uh, I went to go check it out, make sure we hadn't missed anything. Went out in the barn, and there's this one box up in the top of the rafters. <laughs> um, as I'm sitting there, I, I open it up, and it's full of a whole bunch of rare Gillettes. Um, 50 pieces sitting in there, so that's what makes up this auction. So it's going to be uh, the capping off the end of the razor section that we've had for the past few months. Uh, this will be, I, I think, the best one yet. So. Well, you know that that story happens so often where the family just isn't really aware of where everything is. They thought they knew where all this collection was, and uh, and they just didn't know about this case back there. And so it's all going to be uh, uh, to our benefit, and we get to enjoy it, and these pieces get to start a new journey. So once again, you know, we've got that that start of great silver that we continue to work through this wonderful collection. All the fun stuff in the middle, uh, the 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 jewelry and, and other related items. And then we close it out again with what we think is truly the last of our, our shaving collectible. And uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. We're really looking forward to it. Our next auction is coming up in April. I think it's on the 15th, on Tuesday the 15th. That is correct. Uh, so keep an eye on that. We'll get that up and posted soon. We're accepting consignments. A uh, number of the people who have won items from us have uh, begun to start consigning items with us. We really encourage that. We take great care of the folks that work with us on both ends of this thing. Mm -hmm. So listen, we're looking forward to a great auction. Is there anything else they need to know about it? Uh, good luck bidding. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck, folks, and we will uh, see you 10. See you 10. <laughs> wow, that's a new one. Yeah, I don't know, uh, don't know what happened there. I was just listening. I'm, 